Hey yo everyone, it's me Nelly, and I thought I would uh, do a book tour. This is basically all my books and manga. I have one shelf. Um, yeah, uh, this is about 200, I get about 200 books in total. So yeah, this is just my books and manga together just because that's all I got. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna start first row to first row. Okay, so I'm gonna go quickly with the books. I'm gonna go very quickly because there also would be a very long video. So this one, I'll, um, first off, I like to, I have a way of sorting my books. So first off, it's A to Z, regular book. So this one is 1919 Poems by Eve Owen. Oh, there's another book. Uh, a Magic Steeped in Poison. It's supposed to be the second one. Magic Steeped in Poison. It's the first of two. It's the first of two. So it's just there. I'm still reading it. I have Elia's Grace. I have Alice in Wonderland. All My Beauty Sorrows. Anne of Green Cables, Daisy Jones and the Six. I need to read it because, you know, uh, yeah, I need to read it because I heard it was really good. Um, I have the Dante's Inferno, which obviously I am into that kind of stuff. So, of course, I have it. Then I have Dr. Chekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's a horror book, well, horror-esque. So, then, of course, I got it. I got Rifflings. I got Exit West. I got Flowers of Algernon. I got Freud, which is a weird pickup. But it was just like one of those, like, pick it up for free books. And I was like, yeah, I got it. And then we have Gravity Falls Journal 3, which of course I love Gravity Falls, so of course I had to get it. I have hidden figures. I have... <laughs> of course, I have Homestuck Book 4 because it's all they had. I kind of want to get the rest. I'll save debating, but I have 4 for now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have Howl. Howl. I have Howl. Howl's Moving Castle, which I heard is not as great as a movie, but I still wanted to get it. This is Invisible Girl, another random book I got for free. I have little fires everywhere. I have me me talk pretty one day. I have murdered the book club. I have a, a narrative of life, Frederick Douglass. I have no longer human, which very depressing book. So <laughs> be on that. Then I have all the Percy Jackson. All the not all the current ones. I have I don't have the sixth book, but I have like the uh four uh one to five like and the last Olympian. I need to get the chariot the goblet chalice one of those <laughs> one of those things so yeah i have picture of the dead i have persepolis i have peter pan i have riding toward everywhere i have ruby after the fall weird thing I have but it's there i have uh so this is love a twisted tale this is like the disney like what if things i have teen titans raven beast boy beast boy loves raven and robin um <laughs> one of my favorite graphic novels right now it's really rushed, but I still love the art style because I really love Gabrielle Piccolo's art. So, of course, I have it. I I want to pre-order Starfire whenever I can. And on this little shelf, there's just, like, random stuff. Like, this is, like, a little, little Enderman head. I just keep it there because it's cute. That's a little Monster High thing. I just keep it there. A little bunny. But it's just I'll put this on the side for now. I have the absolutely true diary of a part-time Indian. I have The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. I have um, The Disappearing Act. I have The Great Gatsby. I know, classic. <laughs> I have The Girl in the Leaves. I have A Lion Becomes a River. I have The Mortifications. I have a, The Plague, which I did not realize I would cry at, but I did. I did not think it would get me, but I just have The Ultimate RPG Character bear Backstory. I have The Wizard of Oz. I have Vulture. I have Voltron. <laughs> Judge me. Right, that's what <laughs> this is the only Voltron thing that will be in my uh, collection. The only Voltron thing I have in my collection. And that will stay that way. <laughs> Unless it gets good, which I doubt. And then we have When We Were Mermaids. I have When No One Was Watching. And Who Do Voodoo. Yeah. Also on these little things I have. This was when there was a Marvel exhibit at the Science of in Muse Museum of Science and Industry. This is Marnie Mini Book of Heroes. It's just a small book of just little character backstories for a lot of Marvel characters. Of heroes, not the bad guys. It would have been way fuller if there was a... So yeah. I just leave it there. These are just some comics. I'll just go through them very quickly. Just very quickly some random comics I've acquired. In no particular order, just here. And that's it, yep. So, yeah. So that's the second 
the second part. <laughs> and now we go down. This is where the A to Z kind of ends. Oh, there's Mangle here. Hi, Mangle. Put them aside for now. I also have this Calavera mask. Just, just <laughs> there. So this is where it kind of my collection diver diverges. So, this is like the start of like queer books. This is these books from here to here are all queer books. So, like, this is uh, The Edge of the Universe, one of my favorites. This is Cemetery Boys, which I need to read. So, yeah. This is a kind of like thesis thing, like gender trouble. I just keep there. Uh, two volumes of Given, one of my favorite BLs. Um, Gratefully Grayson, Iron Widow, it is queer because there's a polyamorous relationship in here and I say books that have that feature explicit queer characters go in this pile. I have my lesbian experience with loneliness. I want to get the rest of the the books. I have Our Dreaming of Dusk. I want to complete it. I have To Strip the Flesh, which is like only one story is queer, but like I still keep it here. And this is We Are the Ants, well, another one of my favorites. So yeah, these are all queer books right here. Then we have my myth books because I'm big myth head. I love myths. I love like mythology and all that. So I have Beneath the Moon, one of my favorite books. It's one of my favorite books. It's just so good. The author just just has really great art and I just love the little reading about fairy tales and mythology. The artist is just really good. And the art is just so beautiful. So I recommend it if you love fairy tales and mythology and all like that. I also have the Song of Achilles. Of course, Tales from Ovid, The Mythical Creatures Bible, uh, Aradne, Ariand, I forgot how you say it, um, Euripides, Medea, and other plays, Ovid, Metamorphosis, and the Iliad. <laughs> That's just, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I got three of these for free. That was fun. I also have a marble here for some reason. I don't know, it's just there. Pretty here for now. Then I have plays. These are all plays. Just because, you know, I'm a theater kid, so I have to have it. So this is The Crucible. I have A Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare. And Romeo and Juliet, of course, by Shakespeare. Then I have the art books, which I'm trying to get a collection, but it's just kind of small right now. So we have the Undertale art book. We have uh, Norwegian Rose Paintings, which I really want, which was really interesting. So I got it. It was for free. I thought this one for free. Then I have the official art book of Amori. Of course, I have to have it. As you know, that's one of my favorite games. And the Persona 5 Royal art book that came with this special edition of the game. So now onto my manga. My main manga shelves. <laughs> my main manga shelves. I have to sit on the floor for this. I have to sit on the floor for this. So I'll go from top. So this is this is basically all manga in this shelf. This is my favorite manga. All this is my favorite series. So yeah. So this is I have volume one of Miss Miss Beelzebub Lux, Lu likes. It's kind of a pricier thing to find. So it's pretty small. It's pretty small and no color, but it is kind of hard to find. It is thirteen dollars a thing, so it is kind of pricey to find. But I try. I really do want to collect it. I have Otakoi one. I love this one. Oh my god. I'm trying to get it. It's six volumes, well, like $17 a thing, but I, I do want to get it. I have Soul Eater Perfect Edition 1. I do want to get the rest, obviously. I have Demon Slayer. Uh, let me move Nisko out of the way. I have one through... Oh shit. <laughs> let me just put this more down. I have one through eight, then 21 to 23, and I have the uh, spinoff manga uh, stories of water and flame and the two light novels there's another one i need to get which that i have the flower of happiness and one winged butterfly so i have all those and i have a little nesco figure i got for my birthday and this little you know say blind box it's just there okay i have uh all of kovato which is one of my favorites i have one or three in english and i have the rest of it in japanese because the rest is so hard to find in english and very expensive so i thought i would get these in japanese since it was cheap it was cheaper and since i'm learning japanese and the japanese in here is easy to read so i thought i would you know get it to help me learn and then we have my favorite manga of all time it's first baskets i love this series so much it was my first love and like my first, like, favorite manga is just I needed to collect the collector's editions. The second one is so worn out. It's so bad, but whatever. I have one through five. Of course, I need to get 
the rest the rest of it but yeah yeah then we have spy family if this goes if this like ends great i this will be my favorite manga topping fruit baskets but right now it's it's close it's getting there i have one through nine ten is out i still need to get it but yeah i love this series so freaking much i love it so much i have a little yore here a little sleeping yore i got in a blind box then i have the eternal edition of Sailor Moon 1, of course I need to get the rest, and here's a little Sailor Venus that's just there. <laughs> just there. Now we have the rest of my mangas, which are just randomly assorted. So let me get these out of the way. Oy. Oof. No, Nesco's falling. Oh no. Everything's going wrong. Oh god. Let me just put these away. Let me just put these books to the side. Oh god. Okay, so the rest of these manga right here are just like randomly just one offs and whatever what what have you. So I have <laughs> you're just random ones. I, I do plan to collect the series. I just they're just not important right now, so they're just random ones here. So I have one and four of Blue Exorcist. There's there. I have volume one of Can't Stop Cursing You. I have volume one of Car Captor Sakura Clear Card. I plan to get the main series, but this was this was just really cheap. It was five bucks, so of course I got it. I have one, I have only one of cells at work. It was five dollars to five below. I have one of Haikyuu. I might just get this and the last volume just because I don't know if I want to like collect 45 volumes. So I have one of Hunter Hunter. I have one, I have only one of one cyber 100. I have one of One Punch Man. I have only one of the Omnibus of Norgami Stray God. I have, I have one. Volume 1 of uh, One Piece Ace's Story, I need to get Volume 2, and then I'm collected. Then I have the first omnibus of One Piece, of course, I plan to get the rest. I have this one volume of the main, like, Sailor Moon, I might just, like, just, I think I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm, that's the only thing I'm gonna collect. I really want to collect the Omni, the Collector's Edition, so, so I have Sightcomb, which is a really etchy, um, light novel, but I'll keep, I'll keep it just because, you know. <laughs> I have Volume 1 and 2 of uh, Rascal can't dream of bunny girl senpai it does not dream bunny girl senpai i think these are only two out right now i don't know if they're gonna keep making this but i still re i really like this series and we have a uh, one two three and five of surf at the end um i'm debating if i should keep this in my collection but they're they're here right now and then we have volume one of sweat and soap okay more and then we have volumes one through five of toleban hanagokun i really love this series it's really cute i really love it then we have Okay, <laughs> we have completed one through three of part one of JoJo, one through four completed part one of JoJo's, and I only have one uh, volume of part three of JoJo's. I plan to get the rest of the series. I love JoJo's. Oh, look, there's a Josuke. He's right there. So that's just things. And then I have my Vocaloid manga. I have I, I sort these like manga based on like Vocaloid stuff. So I have a cute. It's only one volume. It's one shot. I have Kaguru Days one and two. It's this series is so hard. The manga is so hard to find. Volume five is like over a hundred dollars, the cheapest I could find. So it's really hard. But I do want to get the rest of Kaguru Days. <laughs> like both the manga and the light novel, since apparently they're different stories. So yeah. Then I have one through th one to three of um bad at night which is kind of different from the songs but it's okay then i have one two three of rinsha now there's still one more volume i need to get but yeah i have that and i have the official more strategy and guidebook it came with the art book it came with the art book okay so now there's my last section which is my manga based on video games i have to go handheld for this but these are all my mangas based on video games so here we have ooh, we have near short stories long. I want to get the other one. Long story short. So of course I want to get that one. I have near Automata Yoha Boys. So I'm still reading it. I have both volumes of The Witch's House based on the RPG Maker game. They're both like prequel mangas. I have this like really short like Pokemon like kid book thing, but I just wanted to have. I have like this really like short like it's a bunch of like four coma like like manga. They're just really just cute, like, little comics of the Pokemon, like, white and blue stuff, in black and white. I have this random Sonic thing I got a long time ago, so I just, like, just kept it. I have Water O'Hara and the Great Blue Sea. It's, like, a full, um, so it's completed, like, one-shot thing. It does not, it goes over the couple, uh, first part of the story, but it does not continue, like, where the game finishes, so it's just that. But it's great to have because, 
what on the hardest one of hair games then we have yorha uh pearl harbor descent record which is like a side st it's like a story like whatever i'm gonna have one to three of your turn to die another one of my favorite games i plan to pre-order four when i get the chance so yeah, <laughs> so, yeah that was uh, my my books that was my books i plan to do another one of these next year because i'm kind of slow at collecting books right now but yeah it's just it's just a collection so i hope you guys liked it see you next time okay space on readers i guess okay bye